some good news from San Clemente Island just off our coast. Five different species, four plants and one bird have been taken off the endangered list. Welcome back. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. I'm Marcella Lee. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says the San Clemente Island paintbrush, the lotus, larkspur, bushmallow plants, and the San Clemente Bell's sparrow are fully recovered tonight. This is the 50th anniversary of the Endangered Species Act. And we are on track to down or delist species periodically for the next year. So this is the first of what we intend to be many celebrations throughout the year. To give us a closer look at some of the species being delisted, the Navy invited our own Brian White on a tour of San Clemente Island to showcase the conservation efforts happening there. While four plants and one bird are coming off the endangered species list, the Navy flew me out to San Clemente Island to see for myself, and they took me on a hiking tour. This is what makes us get up and come to work in the morning as biologists. 50 years after the Endangered Species Act became law, biologists here in San Clemente Island are celebrating the delisting of five species at once. The species are recovering. The habitats are expanding. Melissa Booker is a wildlife biologist for the Navy, and she's thrilled to see the San Clemente Island Bell Sparrow taken off the list. It is an adorable little songbird. It has two dark sort of mustache lines, a black spot on a white chest. At one point, there were only 34 of these birds left in the wild, which are only found in this island, and now there are up to 6,000 of them. Things are going well, but it's not the end of the story. We'll continue to do our counts of how many birds are on the island every year. Even with a portion of San Clemente Island being used for military training exercises, it's the most botanically unique of all the California Channel Islands. But the plants and shrubs have overcome some huge obstacles. The island used to be filled with feral goats, which devoured most of the plant life. Where we're standing right here, there was not a single shrub 30 years ago. The goats, the goats had obliterated this island. Brian Munson is the botany program manager for Naval Base Coronado, and he says the goat population here was removed by the year 1991. When the Navy removed the goats 30 years ago, the shrubs that were confined to the cliffs crept up and uh, colonized this entire area. He led me on a hiking tour to see some of the plant species being delisted. This is a San Clemente Island broom down here, that plant with the yellow flowers. First listed in 1977, when there were only 1,000 of these plants, there are now 20,000 of them across the island. This is the San Clemente Island uh, paintbrush. I've done this hike dozens of times and there's more plants here today than I remember. The San Clemente Island Bushmallow is now thriving with thousands across the island, but when it was listed in 1977, there was only one location where it was known to be. And that was actually in a junk pile. Uh, the pile of junk actually protected the plant from the goat. Through its partnership with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the U.S. Navy and its team of conservationists are proud of the work being done. The fact that it's going in a positive trajectory is really meaningful. So to be a part of a program where things are actually recovering and getting taken off the endangered species list is personally very rewarding. On San Clemente Island, Brian White, CBS 8.